Hello everyone. Um, let's provide a solution to this problem. And I'm going to be using two methods to deal with this. Let's look at the first method. Okay, the first method, x plus 2 to the power of 2 equal to x to the power of 2. Now, here is what we are going to do. Um, expand this for the first method, x plus 2 into bracket x plus 2. And this is equal to x to the power of 2. Now, here is what you do if you want to expand this. So you have x, open bracket, everything on the second bracket, x plus 2. Then we have plus 2 in the first bracket, open bracket, everything in the second bracket. So this is equal to x um, squared. Now we have x times x, which will give us x squared, plus x times 2, that is 2x, plus 2 times x, that is 2x then plus 2 times 2 and it is 4 the whole of this is equal to x squared and then mind you this and this can cancel so that 2x plus 2x will give us 4x then plus 4 this is equal to 0 now take 4 to the other side so we have 4x to be equal to minus 4 and since we are looking for the value of 4, I mean the value of x, you divide by 4. Okay, so if we do that, this can go with this, and then x is equal to minus 1. Now, the next thing we will do is the second method. Okay, let's go through the second method. Second method. Okay, so for the second method, we still have x plus 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to x to the power of 2. This is x plus 2 to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 2 equals 0. In this method, we will be using complete um, difference of two squares, right? So we have x plus 2, then we have minus x. This will be in the first bracket. And then in the second, we have x plus 2 plus x. This is equal to 0. Now, x minus x will give 2. Then in this bracket, we have um, x plus x. That will be 2x. Then plus 2. This is equal to 0. By the way, what should I do? Should I open the bracket? Or better, divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2. This goes here. And then we have 2x plus 2 equal to 0. So now 2x is equal to 0 minus 2. Then 2x is equal to minus 2. And we can divide both sides by 2 and divide by 2. This will go. And our x is now minus 1. And um, this is just what we got when we apply the first method x is equal to negative one right okay so thank you for watching and um, do well to share this to your friends thank you